What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Times New Roman. And guys, in the last episode, we actually were able to conquer Aquae Helveticae, which was the second city that we needed uh, for the Times New Roman achievement. So I am so, so happy about that. And, uh, huh, tributary. <laughs> Look at that. That's cute. 16 pops, 48 pops, 4,500 pops. I don't really know if I should really care about these tribes. It's not... <laughs> I don't really think I need to. Because, yeah. Look at... Oh, they produce honey. Local Freeman output? Not bad. Hey, they make iron here. I like that. They have several heavy infantry also. And they're only getting 72 manpower a month. Doesn't surprise me. Okay, so yeah, uh, I think we're actually going to declare one of these guys. I got 255,000 manpower. The Senate sort of approves. Am I friends with these guys? Mm, no, I'm not friends with that guy. But I might just... Let's just become friends with the populist leader. Let's just do it. Is he friends with some people? He's friends with... I don't, he's he's a researcher and a friend of the governor of Magna Graecia. That's that's because he's the governor of Magna Graecia. Okay, <laughs> he's tributing us. He's tributing to the plebs, and she's a she's just she's just a friend. <laughs> she's just a friend. Different from his spouse. He's sixty-two years old, and she is forty-three, and his spouse is thirty-eight. Oh, <laughs> well, look at her. Mm -hmm. All right, stop. Stop it. Don't do this. Don't do this, Alex. Uh, supply limit. I want to look at the supply limit map mode. Yeah, the supply limit's not looking great. That's why we were moving pops last time. I know, I remember. I totally remember. And I wanted to build a fort, but I can't build a fort. Or I wanted to build a fort because this city's starving, and I wanted to destroy this fort and build a granary. I could move some pops away again. I could. Let's just do it. Um, what did I want to... Oh, yeah, yeah, this one. Oh, but it's already at its capacity, so I'll do that. Boom, and boom. Now no longer a starving city. It's got more supply limit. Fewer pops, though, unfortunately, so... It's because it's mountains. Mountains are really hard to, uh... To do. <laughs> to do the do. Alright, it's it's time to, uh... To start declaring this war. But we need to become friends with the... The, uh... Populist faction leader first. That is insane. I really need... Oh, this country has a loyal co-ruler in power. And it's dependent upon his loyalty. Let's give him a tiger. Give him a tiger. It'd be nice if there was some way that you could see holdings somewhere, but you can't. You just can't. Apparently there's some tribe. Oh, hold on a second. Promote pops. Civic power. Promote tribes. Um, buy that guy. Tribesmen. a lot of civic power, but now we do not have any tribesmen in Latium. Good. We're totally civilized. Oh, you can see holdings here. Okay, they actually added this where you can see holdings here, but okay, maybe I just didn't see it before? I don't know. Any, uh, anyway, 250. He's slightly in debt. That's fine, because he's going to gain some... He's getting six per month. Okay. He's got lots of income. I'm friends. I'm friends with him. I'm losing some health because I'm a depressed lunatic, but... <laughs> okay, and now the Senate approves. 65 seats behind me. And nothing on the sleeve. And I'm breaking truce. Let's not do that. <laughs> yeah, that would be bad. Let's not break the truce and lose... A hundred stability. Hold on, by attacking guaranteed? 
wait, 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 wait. It's because they are guaranteed. They're guaranteed by Carnia. Okay, and Carnia is also. They have a tributary now. That's probably one of their clan chiefs that that broke free. Okay, well, what is going on with this? Like, what? I could declare war on these guys, too. I don't know, man. I'm just trying to find the fastest route to, um... To do this. Fight, fight, fight. Because I'm a lunatic. Hey, the sensor could lose health? Well, I like that. Restrain Musiri? Desperate measures. Uh, okay. Oh! I would encourage them to fight so the governor of Magna Graecia would also lose health. He would gain, f he would lose 14. No. Such is the plight of the popular. We'll make, we'll try to restrain him. We'll make sure to restrain him. He gonna die. Can't bring him to trial. Not not for three more years. So dang it, man. Um. Okay. Uh. Oh yeah, he made a bad speech. Let's join in the fray once again. He's gonna lose popularity and stuff. We're gonna join in the fray. I gain popularity. And charisma, oh my gosh. I've got 14 charisma now, that's awesome. Even though I'm depressed. Okay. Let's see here. 2,000 free manpower. Uh, June is when our truce expires, so we can... Um, uh, so we can... What's it called? Let's see. What was I even looking at? I Sorry, I'm just kind of like spaced out for a second. I'm trying... <laughs> Okay, June, June of 567, huh? Good. We still have some time left. We've got like 160 years, so we don't need to worry too much about it. We can now take, we can now declare war. Carnia will become the enemy lore leader, that's fine. The lore leader. <laughs> Okay, but I want I, I want to be able to like get myself into a position where um where I have a lot of options for attacking him. Hold on. Hey, I'm at war with these guys. Yes. Hold on. Okay, now I I can maybe separately peace with these guys if I can take this provincial capital. Who knows? I might be able to even get over here. Can I get military access from somebody? Access. Nope, doesn't look like it. I could try and improve opinion. And aggressive expansion is ticking down by almost 0.2 per month. Uh, but... Let's improve opinion. I don't know if I'll be able to gain military access. We'll see. Import first. Sure, import first. Again. I want to be able to make it to his national capital. Awesome. But wait, 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 wait. Where's his national capital? This is not his national capital. This is a provincial capital. Oh my gosh, trade, go. Uh, hold on, what? Where's his national capital? His country is called Kat Katanatia. This is his national capital, and there was no fort in it. Alright, I'm fine with that. 
I didn't I didn't see it. why is there no icon here? It's weird. I've lost my inflammation. Could send these guys over here. I really would like to separately peace with this this guy and just take this province here. Then I can go to war with these guys, and then I can start inching my way over and just colonizing. Send some soldiers. Yes, we gotta send soldiers and stuff. Uh, let's also, once again, get the aggressive expansion decay. Because... Yeah. Okay, let him lose loyalty. I think it's the governor of Magna Graecia. Yeah. <clears throat> so once, once he becomes consul... Uh, then we're going to have to appoint a new governor of Magna Graecia. Time to join the fray! Oh my gosh, dude! His charisma is 16! Look at this! His charisma is 16! I want to take a screenshot of this. I had to do that. 16 charisma, man. It's because this stupid freaking guy, the sensor here, and I can't, I can't get him out of here. I just have to wait till he dies. He's 60 years old, so eventually he's gonna get something like cancer or dementia or whatever. All right, I want to, I want to separately peace with these guys, but I can't until until July in two years. All right. Very cool, very cool. And I could take these guys out right here. It would make me take a little bit of attrition, but I'm up to almost 300,000 manpower, so I actually am still below half of... Wait, am I? No, I'm a little bit above half. I'm slightly above half. that and are we really good oh hold on hold on hold on hold on we need a commander there we go all right now i have a commander there i'm finding him in the mountains the trains are to our benefit i bet you the mountains are gonna win the battle for me because he's attacking me in the mountains i really just don't see him winning this let's move over here verona verona is a high population city so it's got quite a lot of popular er, uh, supply limit. It's got 29 pops. Yep, pretty good. Pretty good looking. What's cooking good looking? <laughs> That's dumb. All right, yes, as I predicted, I won that battle. We gain a bunch of morale back, and then we get to take another battle <laughs> and win that one too, because he insists on, attack uh, on attacking me in the mountains. I'll move these guys over there. Send some soldiers. I have to spend a lot of military power. I really hate how much military power I have to spend doing this, but at least I've fully filled out that tree, which means the first one I get over here is morale navies. Plus, okay. Unsuccessful election. The censor is starting a civil war. When it became clear Musiri Satavahana would not carry enough votes to become consul. Seeing his ambitions dashed once again by jealous peers, Musiri took matters into his own hands and called his partisans to start a brawl on the Senate floor, injuring several elderly politicians. After fleeing the scene, Musiri... Hold on. We, disloyal problem. we got a few disloyal provinces, so... Musiri promised to deliver justice upon all those who had blemished his reputation and denied him his rightful seat as consul. Now there is chaos in the streets as the Satavahan and Sa Sa What's his culture, by the way? Tamil! He's Indian, and he wants to be called... He, he, you know what? I think that was that, that guy that fled from India. And, we, and he was a prisoner, and... Yeah. 
Um, blemish his reputation, deny his re rightful seat as a consul. Now there is chaos in the streets. His loyalists fight those loyal to Rome. Okay. Roman revolt. So this is actually a civil war. Yes, and we have to fight until we fully conquered each other. So let's go and force march down to here. And how many cohorts do they have? 38. Uh, this province broke away. This province broke away. What? Whoa, interesting flag for the Roman revolt. What? SPQR, huh? Look at that, that's crazy. Alright, we need a new governor, Magna Graecia. We need a new censor. Finally, we can choose a better censor. Look, he will be... Oh my gosh! Oh, that is insane. The mercantile faction is just going to surge ahead, because that's 3.2. Way higher than the uh, populist faction. He is losing health because he's a depressed lunatic, but if he wasn't depressed, then he'd have 17. Oh my gosh. All right. I don't know. I'm not all that worried about this. Because I can easily use my navy to also conquer these things that are not loyal. Um, I'm, I'm just really not worried about it. Also, apparently the governor of Magna Graecia just died. <laughs> and he's using Bleed Them Dry on a few things. I'm gaining 30 ducats a month. Very nice. Is that... That's not part of the Roman Revolt. Okay. Um, how did I just capture this? How did I just capture this? That's very strange. Is this a bug? I don't know if this is a bug. These guys are force marching down there. They're taking some attrition on the way, <laughs> unfortunately. And unfortunately, I'm only gaining 1,400 manpower a month. He's also gaining 1,400 manpower a month, but he's only got 38 cohorts. I have 90. 90. So good luck. Good luck, my friend. But I think I don't think luck can save you, honestly. I just I, I don't think so. Alright, let's just siege down that, that city there and then uh Okay, import iron from Latium. Isn't that gonna give away our Oh no it's not. Okay, good. So we can export it. Can't import anything, as I expected. Mm, let's just take this fort first. A good to me. Oh, I won on 7%. That's awesome. And I believe that this right here, I believe that that is the War of Alpha, Alpha's Carnii. Yes, Alpha's Carnii. But the Roman Revolt joined that. Let's go take that. Import cloth? Sure. Import a bunch of stuff from Lati Latium. Go. Do it. Do it to it. I'm at 17% war score. So I, mm, I still couldn't demand that. I could separately piece. I couldn't separately... Mm, I can't do it until July of next year. So I'm going to make use of the gift instead. Um, mercantile faction? That's a lot of money that we'd be getting. Look. 43 ducats a month! <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, and I also won this siege. So, won the siege of that fort. That's his national capital? How can I... Hang on a second. I got oratory advances. Let's... Let's get, uh, aggressive expansion, change, and impact. And also, my friend... Dylan messaged me, which is awesome. Why can't I move? Can I move here? Can I move there? Yes, I can. Does, is his navy blocking the thing? Is there a fort there? I don't fully understand this. Oh, and I got defeated there. I don't like that. But I can't do anything about it at the moment. And I don't really want to go into the Alps with with my um with my twenty-five stack. 
I don't really want to go too far into the Alps. More Romans. Regium? Where's Regium? Oh, this one? I could try to change the, the culture of some of these guys. With 100 civic power? Nah. Nah, I don't need to. They've always been Roman and always will be Roman. Let's go and uh, protect the straight, shall we? Because they don't have they don't really have any ships. They have eight ships. So can't really do much. Alright, now oh hold on. This 26 stack is getting in my way. I don't like that. I definitely don't like that. Now I should be able to go across. Excellent. Excellent job. Yes, okay, he's sieging that. You know what I will do? Because these guys are going to here. I guess these guys can just reinforce. <laughs> uh, you know what would be really cool? Is if the road would increase supply limit. Because it would make it easier for you to take supplies across the thing. You don't have to, like, trek through the wilderness. You actually have a road there. That would be good. But unfortunately, you cannot do that. Unfortunately, it doesn't do that. Let's see. Uh, give him the gold, sure. Make it 42 ducats a month. I'm see- Okay! He's got archers and light cavalry, and that's it. Look how many archers he has! What a, What is this? I couldn't kill as many people as I lost. So that's, that's not good for me, but... Dang it, man. Gosh. This civil war, man. It's so annoying. Also, I should be able to win this. Oh, he's got his national capital back. No, stop it. I want to be able to separately piece these guys. If I separately piece these guys, then I'm all right with making white peace with uh, right, uh, Ambassantia. Not Rightia. Rightia is the region. That's why I was saying Rightia. That's what it is. That's that's Rightia right there. That's Cisalpine Gaul. And that's Rightia. Okay. Doing okay as far as the battles are going here. Taking too much attrition. I really hate how much attrition I'm taking, but luckily. Oh, and he somehow was able to take back this city, Regium. So, hey man. Okay, researcher. Alright, let's, uh. Rumor disappears. Make the rumor disappear. Okay. I've got the national capital now, and I believe... I believe that should be enough to separately piece him. It would be, but he won't piece because it's substantial land loss. They actually... That, that has to be a 1.1 update because... Uh, I believe it was much easier to fully annex people in, in 1.0. I'm pretty sure that it was. We've been defeated. Okay, we we did lose a lot of troops here. We need to take another one of our freaking armies. Which means we need to just peace out here very quickly. Let's go over here. We'll fully occupy this if we can. They still won't do it. They're at negative one reasons. I bet you if I did that. Okay, he won a siege there. Do we, does he have allies? He does. Ba Bastatania. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. I can do this. I'll do it. I, I don't care. I'll do it. I'll win this war. I'm not concerned about it. Let's do it. Right now. Go. Take it. Take his money. Boom. I gained it. I gained the territory. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. You can't. You can't do anything. You messed up.
And this is without even the... Wait, do I have a... I control his province... Or his cities that are in the war goal, so... There's that. I'm taking far too much attrition. Can I just take this one province? I cannot because it's substantial land. Oh, in the last major battle, yeah. I also got civic advances. So let's go ahead and get nothing. Because I don't need anything there. Anything else? Discipline. Oh, I would like the discipline. I definitely would. Religious advantages. Population growth. Yep. Just population growth. And the discipline. Maybe naval attrition, but... But! <laughs> <laughs> I just wait. <laughs> Alright, he's taking attrition there, and it doesn't look like he can really reinforce too well. He does have 49 cohorts, though. He's building up. This might turn into a substantial thing. How sad. I've gained cancer. Researcher. That guy's not as good as I would like, but I can't do anything about it. Please. Yes, give me your money. Okay. Now, we've taken care of that. Our enemies deserve no quarter. We now control a vast majority of the Alps here. All we need to do is fight a war for these three provinces, and then we can inch our way over. We need to, like, build granaries and stuff as we go along. We can just kind of, like, chain colonize all the way over... All the way over to... Not that one. Where is it? I can't see over these trees. Cariala. That one. Gosh, man. Do I have another army that's on its way? Yes, that one is on its way. And this one is dying. Alright, well, we killed more than we lost there. But he did have to restart the, the uh, siege. Okay. Well. Now at least we can put our full the full weight of our army on this thing. We don't have to worry about the stuff up here, because we already sieged down the stuff that's uh, that was revolting up here. Just a couple of cities over here. This is three, I believe. Maybe two, I don't know. Oh, he built a fort there. Hold on, what? He built a fort there. And I couldn't, because that province was disloyal. Now it's not. Let's build a granary. Gosh, I have so many forts here. I'm gonna do it. Cause I'm gonna keep them because I can maintain them. And it means that whoever is sieging over here is gonna, is just in for a nasty surprise. So. Why am I taking attrition here? That's why. 35? Sure. Can I force march, please? Let's force march over here, shall we? And is bottleneck still the best one? Yes, it is. And this one can also force march. Yay. Here. I am so glad that I built those roads. That's just, th those roads were really a good idea. Okay, let's fight these guys now. Please, come on. Oh, he's got an extra 10,000. That's what, that's what's keeping me back right now. That's what's making it so difficult, because I can win this when I evenly match him. But the problem is that- hold on, does he have the same military traditions as me? No, he actually doesn't have any. He just has the same tech level. I don't even know- I don't know what his inventions are, either, so... Who knows. It does look like I will win this battle, though. So as long as I win this battle, I'll be able to take out the majority of his cohorts. And then I will be able to start sieging down forts, which is good. It's always good. Okay, come on. Let's, let's get him. Let's get it! Oh yeah, much better. That worked out much better in my favor. And I guess we don't have to force march now, but... I don't want to. And let's just capture every single city along the way. But apparently no city can host these guys. Oh, because they're forced marching. That's why. Okay, now they're not taking any attrition. 
And I'm not taking enough to to lose manpower, so I'm still gaining manpower in spite of the attrition. Okay. That being said, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this episode right now. I want to thank everyone so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and join the Discord server. Also, thank you so much to Shep for being my Patreon supporter. And if you'd like to support me on Subscribestar, then please feel free to click the link down in the description below. That being said, I want to thank everyone so much for watching one more time. And I will see you guys next time.